This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. Lots going on in the GAC this week. Of course, three teams remain undefeated in football as Washita, Oklahoma Baptist, and Southern Arkansas. Southern Arkansas had to go into Sunday with that weather delay, but all 2-0 right now. And of course, the GAC volleyball schedule has gotten underway as well. The two teams that were at the top of the preseason poll, as they often are, Arkansas Tech and Harding met in a GAC opener. Harding came away with a 3-1 victory over Tech. That's round one, though, of the 2018 season between those two squads. And they'll meet again another time for sure, and who knows, possibly in the conference tournament a little bit later on. In the meantime, though, I'm here with Cherry Wilmoth from Southeastern, and she is the senior woman administrator here. Also, she is on the NCAA Division II Management Council what does that mean? What goes into being a part of that? It, it sounds like it's something that uh, is pretty impressive. Well, I, I don't know. It's a lot of work. I can, <laughs> I can promise you that, Joey. But uh, D2 Management Council is one of the ranking bodies within Division II that manages and, and reviews everything um, coming from all the different committees within Division II. Um, Management Council reviews those things, votes on those things, and then moves them on to President's Council. So a lot of legislation governance process going on with Management Council and the other committees within Division II. Now, I, I know you have many things like that that you do here at Southeastern. I mean, you work with compliance as well here. Legislation just has to be done. It's one of those things that, that I mean, you have to do it, yes, so that, yes. that's a big part of it, and you're doing it on a national scale. Yes, yes, yes. So what, what, a lot of times what happens with the Division II legislation is, is something comes up through the committee structures, um, maybe from the membership or maybe from the different conferences, and, and something that needs to be a change that will be a positive impact for our student-athletes or a positive impact for all of our uh, membership within Division II. And so that information comes up through the governance structure. Uh, legislation committee reviews it, goes on to management council. If they approve it, it moves on through president's council. So it's, it's truly a governance process and, and how we move legislation through to hit the convention floor in January. And then when it hits the convention floor in January is when all the membership will actually vote on it to see if it's pr proposed or not. It, it's really neat to see our student athletes even here at Southeastern that you know if they're on the student athlete advisory committee and we talk about the proposals in October that are coming through and then they actually see the legislation change and right. then go into effect while they're still a student athlete here it's pretty impressive because they're even realizing it and saying hey that's a change from when it was two years ago or whatever it may be what, what would something like that look like then what what would a a change that you've seen look like uh, from the process of, of going through all of the paperwork and the, and the meetings, uh, what's, what's one of those regulations or legislations that's come through? Um, I would say probably one of the things that's been more recent is financial aid, for example. Um, several years ago, there was a task force that was put together by Division II, um, and they made some significant changes to the financial aid of Division II and how it's awarded to the student athletes. Went away from awarding the student athlete a semester contract to awarding it a yearly contract. Um, that's now a mandatory requirement. A lot of times you might see football schools that would only do a one year or one semester contract, but now they're required to do a full year contract. Um, in addition to that, one of the things is you can increase aid at any time for any reason. Um, in the past, it had to be approved through the financial aid body on the campus and it had to be based on need. Now, you know, if a coach has money available and they want to be able to increase it because maybe they got player of the week, they could, you know. Again, I remind our student athletes all the time, it's if the coach has it in their budget, you know, <laughs> that they're able to do that. So that's one of the significant changes that was voted on by the membership and passed, and it actually went into effect August 1st of 2018. All right. Well, that's, and that's definitely, a, a, I would think, a positive, a big positive. Yes, yes. Yes, it is. All right. Well, now you're you're serving a term. Mm -hmm. What what entails a term? Then how long is something like that? And and how do you get to be on the D two Management Council? Did you, were you elected? Were you appointed? Did you yes. draw the short straw? Or <laughs> what? what how does Sometimes this go you about? think that, especially <laughs> when you get towards the end of your term, because it is a four year term, and. Um, the conferences, every conference in Division II has a representative on Division II Management Council. And so 
each conference submits a name when the term expires and someone needs to be reappointed to it or elected to it, however you want to call it. Um, but you'll have a senior woman administrator, a faculty athletic rep, and a director of athletics. Um, those, the conference will submit three nominations. And prior to my appointment, um, it was Will was our commissioner. And so commissioners are able to be a member of management mm -hmm. council too if they're elected into that position. And I keep throwing appointed elected, you know, I don't know sometimes which way it is. You can look at it either way, but um, the committee then looks at it and then selects. Um, there's a lot of times that management council really looks at the makeup of how many SWAs, how many FARs, how many athletic directors, how many commissioners, you know, also look at, you know, what our ethnicity population is among because we want equal representation right. across all boards when it comes to division two but it, it, it does seem like an, an honor to represent yes. the school and of course the great american conference it is it is um we're very fortunate right now to have uh president glenn jones at henderson state who is the chair of the president's council um, for Division Two, and then it's an honor just to be in a room with so many um, wonderful people that know so much about their skill and their craft and what they're doing at their own institutions. But you have to understand that when you're in those rooms in Indianapolis and you're, and you're talking to them, you're not just talking about Southeastern Oklahoma. You're not just talking about the Great American Conference. You know, what may be a simple decision made for the GAC is not a simple decision made for someone in maybe the Northern Sun. You know, we deal with so many different elements and things that happen across the United States that it's important that we understand when we're in those rooms to make those decisions thinking of all and not just our own specific area. You, you talked about Indianapolis and of course, you know, places throughout the United States. Do you get to travel any with this? I do, I do. Um, it's uh, my husband and, and daughter sometimes wonder when I'm going to be home at times, <laughs> but um, we're managing fine. Um, I actually go uh, four times a year for management council, um, three times to Indianapolis, and then the fourth time is always with wherever convention is. And then because when you're on management council, you're also appointed onto other committees or other groups within the NCAA. My other appointment is legislation committee. And so legislation committee meets three times a year and does one telephone conference. So I'm traveling to Indianapolis usually six times a year. So it sounds like fun though. It is. I mean, to a certain Again, extent, yeah. if you like airports and things like that, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> and, and, and if your family wonders if you're ever coming it, back, yes. too. So yes. I, I, I kind of understand that. Yep. Uh, I do. Well, all right. Well, that I appreciate you visiting with me about that. And, and, and uh, of course, Cherry Wilmoth representing the Great American Conference at the NCAA Division II Management Council. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for your service then of course to the GAC thank and also you. to the NCAA. It, it's truly an honor to be representing Southeaster, rep representing the Great American Conference and serving on this committee and this council. I mean it, it's it's greatly an honor for me and I hope I am doing right by the conference and doing right by the institution and do right is a big thing for Southeastern and so I hopefully I'm doing right by that. All right well I, so. I believe you are. This has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. And to hear and see more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net and check us out on our YouTube channel. Search youtube.com Midwest Sports Net. God bless you. Thank you for watching.